<laughs> All right, so uh, let's talk about appointment setting. When you, want to, when you do want to sit down with people, and I do very little sitting down with people as of this point in my business. I don't. I, I prefer to have someone go to a website and sell themselves on it, you know, but uh, when I do uh, sit down with people, all right, um, and this is going to happen because especially if you've got a job and you want to meet with someone during lunch, you know, or something like that, you want to have a cup of coffee, I'm going to teach you how to do a presentation, all right, but uh, what I do want to do is I want to teach you some things on setting appointments because listen, setting appointments is crucial for every aspect in the business. Even if you're not, even if you're just setting a, an appointment to sit down with them to review a website, even if you're setting an appointment because you call them, they, they're like, hey, listen, I'm at the job right now, I don't have five minutes, but you want them to listen to a five minute pre recorded call. Here's some things that you want to do, all right? And this will help you on your posture. You always want to use option close, uh, uh, otherwise known as alternative choice closing. You always give two options. Like, let's say, because here's what I used to do. And this loses your posture, by the way. If I want to meet with Mark and I say, okay, Mark, great. When are you available? Mm -hmm. You know, hey, listen, I really want to get together with you so we can go over this. Um, you know, when do you have some time? Everyone go, eh. Yeah. Not good, because what you just tell them, say, look, you got all the time, I got all the time in the world. I will mold my life to meet with you <laughs> because you're so important. No. Now I go, hey, listen, Mark, give two options. You know, first thing that I love to say to people, um, is when I talk to them when I do find out, you know, my favorite question is, you know, do you keep your options open when it comes to making more money? If you found a way where you can make some pretty serious money and it didn't interfere with what you're already doing, you know, do you keep your options open when it comes to making more money? All right? And let's say he goes, yes. Well, now when I call him back, I'm going to reaffirm. I'm going to say, hey, listen, Mark, when you said you kept your options open, were you serious or just kidding around? Highlight that. Were you serious or just kidding around? Because guess what? The minute you go, no, I was serious. Now they have to validate and back themselves up with the proper activity to prove they were serious. Because then you go, oh, yeah, I was serious. And then slack off and not want to meet with you. Because then they're, I said, wait, wait, are you sure? You sound like you're kidding to me. No, no, I was serious. Okay, great. Now you've got them reeling in. Now what you say, say, great, listen, I'm pretty busy, but let me see if I can squeeze you in for about 15 minutes. What's better for you? Here's the option. Afternoons or evenings? Monday or Tuesday? 1 p.m. or 4 p.m., you know? Oh, you're narrowing it down, giving them two options, all right? Okay, and let's say they say, you know, sure, you know, whatever time. Say, great, I'll see you on such and such day at such and such time. Now, here's how you lock it in. Everyone say, lock it in. Lock, lock it in. It comes from, uh, this comes from the book, um, uh, <coughs> How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's a technique. He says, give, give a dog a good name, and he'll live up to it. So watch this. If you look there in your notes, you know, now I start to compliment them. By the way, you know, you are good at, at keeping appointments, aren't you? What are they going to say? Oh, no, I'm horrible. Yeah, they're going to you know, I'm great. Great. You know what? I could tell you were a man of your word the second I met you. Look, you're just the type of person I love to do business with. You know, thank you. Listen, I really appreciate you respecting my time because I'm really busy. I'll see you at 1 p.m. I'll see you at 1 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon or whatever. Now, did, I just told them, great, I knew you were a man of your word. I knew it the minute I saw you. You're the kind of guy I like doing business. Now, what are the chance? Now, if he doesn't show, what is he? He's the complete opposite of that. So I don't know what the opposite of that is, but it ain't good. You know, not a man of your word, not good at keeping appointments. Listen, that person now, for whatever reason, if you just set up an appointment for them to be in front of a computer, guess what they're going to do? They're going to be rushing, like, man, that guy thinks I'm a man of my word. I need to make sure I... Do what I said I'm going to do. I need to make sure I man up. All right? So, will that help? Yes. yes. Would you guys agree that's a lot better than just saying, hey, listen, when you, when you be in front of a computer? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, 